Hey guys, Schnickerman here. I just got the Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of the Superheroes arcade cabinet from Best Buy. And I'm super freaking excited to open it and build it. So I'm going to record some footage of me building the whole thing. And at the end, I'm going to test it out a little bit and give my general comments on it and everything like that. So let's get into it and build it. So just got the one up arcade marvel vs capcom arcade cabinet it comes with a stool apparently it even has online multiplayer which i had no idea so i'm gonna start building this thing i'm super freaking excited i've always wanted an arcade cabinet so yeah let's get into it so looking at the other side of the box you can see these are the five games that it comes with Marvel Super Heroes, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems, and Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of the Super Heroes. It also comes with a light-up marquee, a light-up deck protector, custom riser to make it full-sized, and a custom stool that has Marvel vs. Capcom on it. And man, it looks good. Now time to assemble it. So here's the empty box. Over here you have all smaller boxes. You can kind of see that the fight stick box is the smaller one. You have monitors in some of these. And then just check out these marquees. So they did it so you can see on this side, the colored in characters are the Marvel characters. And on this side, the colored in characters are the Capcom characters. And would you look at that? You got Captain Commando, and all of these other characters, Mega Man, Ryu, Strider, Arthur. It looks really, really, really nice. I'm so excited to put it together. I opened what I thought was going to be the uh, actual monitor and then ended up just being the stool. So I think I'm going to assemble the stool now. Look at the color on the seat of this stool. It's so vivid and so shiny. So here we go, it's pretty much set up. Just all the all the skeletons there we need to put in the guts. Uh, this is only a few feet tall. There's a stand that we still haven't built, but you can see everything's starting to take shape here. So I'm setting up the back. I'm plugging in all the power for the lights on the marquees and the, uh, the stick. We have everything set up here, plugged in the stick screwed on the little uh, handles there looks really really good so if you look at the cabinet it's exactly 46 inches and then i have to build this which goes underneath and adds about a foot or so so then when you look at the height extender it's exactly 12 inches from the part where it sits so it'll be almost exactly five feet tall once you put the stand at the bottom so here for the stand, you can see they went all out. They have three Capcom characters, Ryu, Captain Commando, Mega Man, Wolverine, Spider-Man, and Captain America from Marvel. And then just a really nice combination image there. Too bad this is at the bottom of the cabinet and it's kind of hard to see. Okay, everything's good to go. We're going to test it right now by turning it on. Here we go. <sighs> Nothing happened. Wait! Oh! Okay. <laughs> well, let's take this off. Wait. I don't think it worked. Oh! Oh! Hold on. Here, I'm gonna take this. So we finally set it all up. We got the stool, we got the arcade cabinet, and then you got the stand on the bottom. So now when I stand next to it, kind of comes up to like my neck so I have to sit at this I'm gonna I just turned it on you can see it takes a few seconds and then the marquee lights up it takes a few more seconds for the, the raspberry pi probably to go online just give you guys like a quick intro on it you can see we have all the buttons here it just loads for a little bit 
The volume doesn't get super loud, even on its maximum. This is pretty much as loud as it gets, which is okay. I don't need it to be super loud, but if you're like, you know, playing with your friend and getting super hyped, you might not hear the music that much. So it always asks if you want to do Wi-Fi. You can actually set up Wi-Fi to play online, which is super interesting. But we're going to just say no. And here's all the games. Uh, I guess if you do online, you can see that there's leaderboards and everything, which is super cool. So original Mar Marvel vs. Capcom, Street Fighter vs. X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter, blah, blah, blah. Marvel Super Heroes, War of the Gems. I actually want to see what's in settings. Network settings, sound effects, main menu, so not really anything in there. So we're going to go back up and we're going to play X-Men vs. Street Fighter. And you'll see everything runs really smooth. You can choose whether you want to play offline or online. And overall, I'm pretty happy with everything. Even it just makes a really cool piece in the game room for sure. So everything looks really vivid. I'll play my boy Ken. He's my homie. And I guess I'll play Cyclops, I don't know. So I can't really play, but this, like I said, this is as high as the volume goes. But everything's pretty nice. I think you could get replacement sticks and I would probably recommend doing that. These are just cheap plastic. And there's a big scene for customizing fight sticks. So there you have it. So overall, everything's really nice. I played it. The sticks aren't perfect or anything by any means, but for $500, um, what do you really expect? Out of all the games, they're all fighters except for War of the Gems, which is the side-scrolling beat-em-up, which is a little bit hard, but it's interesting. You got a few characters you can choose from. One thing that's really annoying, though, that on mine that I want to show you guys is there's like a little piece of cardboard or something uh, underneath the like plexiglass that has the screen. So it looks like it's a bad pixel, but it's actually not a bad pixel. It's just little foots. So you can see it on this L right here. Actually, it doesn't really... So if you see that little black spot on the L, it's something underneath the plexiglass that I can't remove, but it's not a pixel, because if you look at it from different angles, it shifts. You see that? You can see it on the screen. But it's kind of obnoxious. I might have to try to go in. If anyone has this and has the same problem, let me know if you can figure it out. But And I didn't show it off before, but you can actually make the whole keyboard light up, which is an added feature all different colors so that's pretty cool as well i even just wanted to do a funny thing like this is all the waste that you get from building this thing there's just crap everywhere thank you guys for watching i had a lot of fun building this thing it took a bit of time but i really like the result overall i think it's a pretty awesome product if you guys have any questions about the cabinet itself or anything related to it, please let me know in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash do-it-yourself build, uh, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Until next time, guys. Peace.